Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and I have a bit of a treat for you today because we have travelled to the south of Ireland on a staycation and today we are in the award-winning Kells Bay Garden in County Kerry in the south of Ireland. Now one of the things this fantastic garden is famed for is the fact that they can grow all kinds of exotic plants outdoors such as tree ferns and we are sure to have a look at the primordial forest here which is just full of tree ferns, a lot of them self-seeded and very very old. So it's been four years since I visited this garden last and there have been some changes in place including I believe a rope bridge, a large rope bridge. So we're going to have a look at that and have a look around this wonderful garden. So come with me and let's enjoy Kells Bay Garden. Today we're visiting Kells Bay Garden in the Ring of Kerry in the very south of Ireland. It's one of Ireland's foremost Victorian gardens and contains one of the finest collections of southern hemisphere plants in Europe. The Kells estate was originally bought by Roland Blennerhassett in 1837. He built a small hunting lodge, but it was his grandson, the Home Rule MP of the same name, who built the house and began to develop the gardens that we see today. He completed the Ladies' Walled Garden, the Tree Fern Forest, the Long Drive and some of the paths through the garden. It is believed that the tree ferns that are the unique feature of this garden were carried as ballast on ships in the 19th century. Ships returning from Von Diemen's land. The outgoing cargo would have been ominously local people convicted at the petty sessions. On the return journey from Australia, the empty ships would have needed ballast to provide stability and control and felled tree ferns would have served well. As we gardeners know, rootless tree ferns can be easily coaxed to regrow if planted in earth with some of their trunk buried. And so the primordial forest section of this great garden probably came about in this way. How strange to think that our ancestors' misery gifted the present generation with a horticultural treasure. The primeval forest, the undoubted centrepiece of Kells Bay Gardens, is an extensive collection of tree ferns. After being brought over from Australia in the 19th century, they have adapted to and colonised their new home, seeding around and naturalising in Kerry's mild climate. We now find ourselves in a nursery section of the garden containing really impressive specimens in pots. These haunting and quirky face sculptures are from the trunks of tree ferns, many of which died in the harsh winters of 2010. The house has remained in private ownership since the original planting and each successive owner has endeavoured to preserve and protect the character of the gardens. In 2004, Billy Alexander, the plants man and fern obsessive, bought the garden. To Alexander, ferns are an obsession that have caused him to spend considerable sums pursuing them from the bogs of Connemara to the Juan Fernandez Islands off Chile to the forests of South Africa and the carefully tended gardens of Japan. 
Billy Alexander has spent further fortunes importing containers of these plants to Ireland. Oh. It's now time to discover the first of Kells Bay's prehistoric residents. There are dinosaurs carved from fallen trees. The dinosaurs tie in well with the primordial theme in many areas of the garden and provide endless entertainment to those in your party who are less interested in the plants. Uh, oh, help me, I'm stuck. You're stuck. We swing past the large pond, dominated by a stand of the massive giant rhubarb, Gunnera manicata. The sheer size of these enormous leaves never fails to impress. One brief rest later in this comfortable armchair sculpted out of a tree. It's called contemplation. Rest and view the sky. And now it's time to tackle the terrifying rope bridge. Okay, now it's my turn. Here we go. Ah. Terrible! Sir Dory! What a good girl she is! You're going to have to answer my riddles three. Okay, what's your riddles three? What is your name? Rachel! What is your quest? To get across the rope bridge and make what? a video of Kells Bay. And what is your favourite colour? <gasps> Green! You may cross. <laughs> Thank you.
the palm and succulent garden is positioned to the front of the house and is relatively new. Because of the extensive rainfall in Kells, around 200 tonnes of rock had to be imported from a local quarry to augment the existing rock bed and provide perfect drainage. As we wander around this very interesting section, the dedicated horticulturalists among you will recognise yucca, dazzlerian, aeonium, the Australian tree grass, agave, aloa, puya, furcrea, fascicularia, and cordyline indivisa for the second time on our visit in this particular section of the garden. And that brings me to the end of my visit to Kells Bay Garden. I really hope you enjoyed going around the garden with me and if you're ever in Kerry you really must stop by and see that fantastic tree fern forest and take a go on the rope bridge. They really were the highlights for my whole family. I hope that if you like the video you'll give it a thumbs up and check back for lots more other videos and please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Okay, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.